Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Reunion Weekend at the University of Richmond and the Robbins School of Business's third annual Alumni Hall of Fame induction ceremony. My name is Randy Raggio. I am one of the associate deans here in the Robbins School of Business. Dean Nancy Begranoff uh, regrets that she's not able to be with us here this evening due to a meeting that required out-of-town travel, but I can tell you that she couldn't be more delighted that Melanie Healy is this year's inductee into our Alumni Hall of Fame, and she asked me to share this with you. She said, Mel Healy embodies all we could hope for in a graduate of the Robbins School in the University of Richmond. She's been one of the most successful business leaders in our history. In addition, her life and career have spanned the globe, consistent with our international business focus. Congratulations, Mel. So at this time, I'd like to call on Dr. Ronald Crutcher, who's the 10th president of the University of Richmond, to offer his opening remarks. Dr. Crutcher. Thanks so much, Randy. And it's a pleasure for me to join you in celebrating this year's Robbins School of Business Hall of Fame inductee, Melanie Healy. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the members of the Healy family who are here tonight, including Bruce, Jackie, and Nick. We're excited that you're here to share in this wonderful, wonderful moment. To us, Melanie, or Mel, is a respected global leader once perennially ranked among the most powerful women in business. But to you, she's simply Mel or Mum. I know she very much appreciates your unconditional love and support. We also welcome the many special guests who are too numerous to name, but whose enduring ties to Richmond, the Robin School, and the Healy family are so important to the university and to our community. Brazilian lyricist and novelist Paulo Coelho once wrote, quote, you have to take risks. We will only understand the miracle of life fully when we allow the unexpected to happen. Every day, God gives us the sun and also one moment in which we have the ability to change everything, end of quote. Mel Healy has long been taking risks and basking in the bright sunlight of her actions. Well known is the fact that she enrolled at Richmond having never once set foot on our campus, or in the United States for that matter. She pursued a career in marketing at a time when nearly all creative teams were led by men and confidently earned her seat at the proverbial table. She once left a promising career at a respected company to pursue an arguably lesser role in a new company that better matched her professional and personal goals. That risk paid off as she spent more than 25 years at Procter & Gamble. Under her leadership, P&G entered the market in her native Brazil, restored growth in its core U.S. market, and launched seven of the top 10 most successful products in the United States consumer goods industry. While managing the global feminine care and health care sectors, she used her position to champion the rights of women and girls around the world. During her career, marketing and advertising were completely transformed by the onset of technology, including electronic communications and social media. Mel nimbly navigated this new environment and forged creative partnerships that garnered worldwide attention, won awards, and importantly, increased sales. Mel advanced her career while living in Brazil, Mexico, Venezuela, and the United States, pondering each move carefully to balance the needs of her young children and successful spouse. She retired from P&G on her own terms, stepping aside in 2015. In fact, shortly after announcing her retirement from P&G, Fortune Magazine wrote of Mel's advice that professional success, however significant, is not everything. She said, and I quote, slugging through a decade of work but losing touch with your family or friends or with your community creates its own sense of failure, end of quote. To be sure, Mel has never lost touch with her friends at Richmond. As you heard earlier, she has been a faithful and dedicated volunteer, serving on the university's board of trustees and generously returning to campus as a popular and most admired speaker. Mel is strongly committed to community service in my hometown of Cincinnati, where she and her family now live. 
It was there during my first year at the University of Richmond where I got to know Mel when she hosted the president's welcome reception at her home for Betty and me. The evening was filled with all things I've come to associate with Mel. Warmth, laughter, great conversation, and the easy and enviable contentment that comes from a life fully lived. Melanie, we are grateful that a moment of change brought you to Richmond. We appreciate your generosity and service to the university, as well as the extraordinary example you continue to set for our students. And tonight, we are deeply, deeply honored to induct you into the Robbins School of Business Hall of Fame. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Crutcher. Uh, it's now my pleasure to call John Robinson to the stage. John graduated from the Robbins School of Business at the University of Richmond in 1983. He worked at Morgan Stanley since 1985. Over the course of his career, he's held roles in trading, in sales, and in sales management. He's a managing director in the fixed income division, where he recently returned from London, England, where he was living for two years, uh, where he had headed distribution for credit and securitized products for Europe. He now runs emerging markets for Latin America and Europe. Over the past decade, he's actively recruited students into Morgan Stanley's analyst program. He's a board member of the Mental Health Association of New York City. John and his wife, Janet, live in Larchmont, New York. They have three children. Their youngest, Kayla, was one of my students in a marketing class. And she graduated from the University of Richmond in 2017 with a concentration in marketing from the Robbins School of Business and a minor in psychology. As a current member of the Dean's Executive Advisory Council, John will first describe the criteria for selection into our Alumni Hall of Fame. He's going to introduce this year's inductee as well. John, thank you for being here to introduce Melanie and to induct her into the Alumni Hall of Fame. Thank you. On behalf of the Executive Advisory Council, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Robin School of Business for such a special occasion. And as co-chair of the class of 1983 reunion committee, it is nice to see so many familiar faces back for the weekend. The Robin School of Business Alumni Hall of Fame Award is given annually to recognize an alumnus or alumna of the Robin School of Business who graduated 10 or more years previously and has made significant accomplishments in business and service. Exemplary ethical leadership is a criterion in making this selection. The nominee must have graduated from the University of Richmond with an undergraduate or graduate degree from the Robbins School of Business. The nominee must also have graduated in a year that will be celebrating the reunion during the fiscal year. The Executive Advisory Council of the Robbins School of Business formed a Hall of Fame committee that reviews nominations and then designates the honoree each year. This year's inductee for the Robbins School of Business Alumni Hall of Fame is Melanie Healy. Melanie is a graduate of the University of Richmond where she earned a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in 1983. She also served as a University of Richmond Board of Trustee member and was recognized with the Distinguished Alumni Service Award in 2008. Melanie is an accomplished C-suite executive officer with over 30 years of global and operational experience in companies like Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, and SC Johnson. During her time with Procter & Gamble, Melanie served as the Group President and Advisor to the Chief Executive Officer, Group President of North America, President of the Global Feminine Care Business, and Group President of Global Feminine Care and, and Healthcare Sector. <laughs> Melanie currently serves as a member of the Board of Directors for Verizon, Target, Hilton, and PPG. In addition, she also serves as an advisor to UrbanSitter.com, Stockpile.com, and the Oneida Group. She has been recognized by Forbes and Fortune Magazine as one of the top most powerful women in business and by Advertising Age as one of the most influential women in advertising. Melanie is an active member of her Cincinnati community, serving as a board member for Arts Wave of Greater Cincinnati and as the 2014 citywide campaign chair and founder of Cincy Sings and Women's Leadership Roundtable. She is also a founding member of the Cincinnati Women's Executive Forum and Women's Leadership Initiative for United Way. 
As a fellow 1983 Robbins School of Business classmate of Melanie's, it gives me great pleasure and pride to present our newest member of the Robbins School of Business Alumni Hall of Fame, Melanie Healy. Well, um, gosh, I'm honored. Thank you so very much. I cannot, um, I wasn't kind of prepared to give any remarks, but uh, <laughs> here I am at the podium. And let me just start by saying thank you for all the lovely and kind, way too kind words. Uh, it's, uh, it's truly an honor. I can't imagine, you know, I was thinking back to my days as a, a freshman at Richmond, and as Dr. Crutcher said, I, I literally arrived in the States for the first time in my life five days before I was a freshman at Richmond. So it's been quite a journey over the last 35 years, but a wonderful journey that um, uh, I couldn't uh, be more grateful and thankful. Uh, I would just start by saying my husband, who I met in eighth grade, and uh, we've uh, been sweethearts pretty much ever since, on and off, of course, but... Uh, <laughs> Not since that eighth grade, but uh, without him, I wouldn't be where I am, and that's for sure. And of course, the support of family like Nick and Jackie, who are here, and Nick's girlfriend, Emily, and uh, my sweet mates and roommates, uh, who are all here as well, and of course, all of my friends, even friends from Cincinnati, uh, Laura and Dave, who are here. So it, it's, um, you know, in the end, uh, you can accomplish a lot in life, but but uh, what really makes a difference is the friends and family that you're surrounded by, and, uh, and I couldn't be surrounded by better folks, folks who have supported me over the years. I'm um, you know, looking over here at the Dunsings, uh, who lived half a mile off campus. Sharon was my first roommate, and um, here was this like, foreign kid, you know, didn't know anything about the US, and they all took me under their wing and helped me out, and, uh, and that is true for so, so many folks. And it's just amazing how these Richmond connections kind of uh, come, a, you know, you encounter them day in and day out. We were on a cruise uh, just five years ago with my parents and my family, and we're, you know, walking down the ship, and I glance over to the left, and there's this whole family having, having drinks, and it was President Harmond and Terry <laughs> sitting right there. <laughs> So, you know, in the end, all roads come back to Richmond. It's, uh, it's a great school. It was very defining in my life. Um, it really taught me the, the importance of getting out of your comfort zone and, uh, and sort of not settling for, you know, what you kind of just grown up with and become accustomed to, but really, you know, getting out of that comfort zone and learning to be teased a little, loved a lot, and, uh, you know, whether it was your accent or your words or uh, didn't matter. <laughs> it's at the end, it's all about support, helping each other. Um, and of course, you know, uh, setting your bars high for yourself, uh, um, working hard. Um, but it's that wonderful, I think life boils down to that wonderful magic of a uh, little bit of luck. And I've had a lot of luck but also a lot of grit and determination and getting out of that comfort zone and just keep striving for, for the next thing and the next place that you can make a difference. And uh, so it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for coming. And I hope you all enjoy a wonderful 35th reunion. You deserve it, have a blast. And this is a great way to start it. So thank you very much to Richmond. <laughs> Appreciate it. I can tell you, we are very proud that Melanie is an alumnus of the Robbins School of Business in the University of Richmond. Um, I know that when you list off the accomplishments, it seems there, there's so much there. But what is so amazing and what makes her so worthy of being inducted into the Alumni Hall of Fame 
is not only what she's done, but the way she's done it. And so we appreciate that as an example for those who will follow. And as I said, we all are very proud of you. We will have a reception in the Commons following right after this. I do want to let you know that the uh, reception at the Greek Theater will begin on time at 8 o'clock. It is still on. That has not changed. So we've got plenty of time to enjoy the reception here. And on your way out, be sure to see the plaque that has been erected for our Hall of Fame inductees. It's a very limited and very exclusive club. Uh, e. Claiborne Robbins, uh, Austin Brockenbrow, and Melanie Healy. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for coming this uh, evening, and please enjoy your reunion weekend. Thank you.